Hi, I am Arun and I am going to explain you the time of programming. So you will be able to understand how to generate a square wave using timer. So here we are going to use timer 0 in mode 0 condition to generate a delay. So the square wave will be generated and the delay for generating the square wave will be generated by using timer. So that is the concept. So based on that we can uh, see a program and uh, for that how we have to write the program. That is what we are going to see in this video. Thanks for watching. Here you can see the question. Write a program to generate a square wave with 50% duty cycle and frequency 1 kilohertz using timer 0 mode 0. So first of all we have to know what is mean by duty cycle. We all know that duty cycle is equal to on time divided by on time plus off time. So what is on time? Consider this as a square wave in which this one is called the on time and this is called the off time. So we are going to generate a square wave with frequency 1 kilohertz. So how to find the time period? We know that time period is equal to 1 divided by frequency. So that is equal to 1 divided by the required frequency for us is 1 kilohertz. So 1 into 10 to the power 3. So that is equal to when it comes to the numerator 1 into 10 to the power minus 3. So that you can write it as 1 millisecond. So time period is the time taken for one cycle. So what is mean by one cycle in a square wave? So the square wave starts from here and it ends here. So this is called one period. So how we have only one millisecond for that. So in order to generate a 50% duty cycle, we have to divide this one millisecond equally into two. So how we can divide it? So 0.5 millisecond plus 0.5 millisecond. So what is my duty cycle? So to find uh, the duty cycle for this square wave. So, so the square wave which we are going to develop is having an on time of 0.5 millisecond and an off time of 0.5 millisecond. So from this, if you calculate the duty cycle, you can get 0.5 millisecond divided by that is on time, on time plus off time. So both are same. So when you do this calculation, you will get 1 by 2 point that is equal to 0.5. When you convert it into percentage, you will get it as 50%. So our aim is to generate this 0.5 millisecond duty cycle or not 0.5 millisecond duty cycle, 0.5 millisecond delay using microcontroller. So we are going to use the port 1 for generating the square wave. So normally there is a procedure for generating the delay. So I will explain you. So we are assuming our crystal frequency to be is equal to 11.0592 megahertz that is approximately equal to uh, uh, 12 megahertz. So how to generate it? So normally we will divide this one uh, by 12 because we consider that 12 is the number uh, of cycles uh, which comprises one machine cycle. So we are dividing it by 12. So that will roughly give you a value 1 megahertz again to find the time period of that equivalent. You divide 1 by 10 to the power 6 that is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 that is equal to 1 microsecond. So for this means that one instruction execution requires 1 microsecond delay. One instruction execution requires 1 microsecond delay. But our requirement is 0.5 millisecond. So for 0.5 millisecond delay the number of cycles required in timer can be calculated by the following steps. So our requirement is 0.5 millisecond delay. So what is 0.5 millisecond? It is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So for one instruction execution, it requires uh, 1 microsecond. So that I am dividing it by 1 microsecond. So if you divide it, you will get the number of cycles. So when you divide this one, you will get this 10 to the power minus 3 minus 3 get cancelled. Uh, 10 to the power 3 goes up. So you'll get 500, you'll get a value 500. So 500 cycles is the required one. So how to generate this delay in timer? We know that timer 0 in mode 0 is a 13 bit timer. So the maximum count is 0 FFF. If it is a 16 bit timer, the maximum count will be FFFF. So it is in hexadecimal. 
Normally the timer has two registers that is TH0 to load the upper bit and TL0. So this is a place where we have to load the value to get this 500 cycle. So to get 500 cycle delay, the number to be loaded in the register can be found by using the following steps. So we need 500 cycle. So what we have to do? The maximum count is 0 FFF. So from that, you have to subtract 500. So the hexadecimal equivalent for 500 is 0, 1, F, 4. So what I am doing is from the maximum count, I am subtracting 500 so that if I load this value into the timer, it starts counting from this number. It starts counting from this number. So normally we will get the 500 cycles. So that is the procedure. Normally we will do this type of procedure for everything. So 0, F, F, F minus 0, 1, F, 4. That is the hexadecimal value for 500. So when you do this calculation, you will get 0, E and 0, 6. So we are going to load these values in the TH0 register and TL0 register. So we are going to use port 1 for generating the square wave. Now I will explain you the program. So normally we will write ORG000H that is the origin of the program. So since I am using timer 0 in mode 0, you have to load this timer mode register with 00. zero. You have to load this timer mode register with 00. zero. So that move T mode comma hash. It is an immediate addressing mode. Hash 00H. Zero zero so 00, zero will be loaded into T mode. Then what I am doing? Move P1 that is port 1 from where we have to generate the square wave. So move P1 comma 00. zero. So initially it will be 00. zero. And I am calling a delay. I am calling a delay. So it will be at 0, 0 for a delay. And then move P1 comma has 0 FF. So it will go to FF that is higher value. And it waits for another delay. Again short jump back. It goes back. Then it again comes to 0. Wait for a delay. Goes up. Waits for a delay. So we will get square wave automatically. So this is the procedure. So you all know. From P1 we are going to generate the square wave, P1 comma 00H, zero zero A call delay, move P1 comma hash 0FFH. So this process will be repeated so that we will be getting the square wave. So how this delay loop works? This delay loop works by means of a timer. For that we have initiated the timer, which timer we have to use? That is timer 0 in mode 0. So here you can see I am loading the value of TH0 with 0e that is what we have uh, earlier taken 0e should be loaded to 2h0 and you have to use uh, load tl0 with 06 you have to load tl0 with 06 so that is what we have done here move th0 comma 0e tl0 comma 06 now what we have to do we have to on the timer to on the timer we have to set this this bit so set B TR0 so it will be on. Now you can you see this condition which is normally used JNB TF0 that is we are checking whether this timer got overflow or not. So for that jump no bit TF0 that is if there is no bit in this TF0 register TF0 bit then this loop will be executed again and again. In other case it will come to the next instruction when it gets overflow. When it uh, goes from 0 F F F to 0 0 0, we will call it as overflow. So when it reaches this condition, it goes to the next instruction. So we have to clear this TR0 register. We have to clear this TF0 bit. Then it will return to the program. So here we are calling this delay loop, delay subroutine. It comes to the subroutine, delay, and it will be returned back. And we are ending this program. So this is how this is how the program is executed. This is how the program is executed. My dear students, this is how to generate a square wave. My dear students, this is how to generate a square wave with 50% duty cycle. This is a very important question for MT University students. So I request all students to view this video and get the benefit of this video so this video will tell you how to generate a square wave with 50% duty cycle that is the on time as well as the off time is 
equal the on time as well as off time is equal thank you for watching all the best